What's going on, everyone? As always, what you're supposed to do, place your cross on first, no matter what's going on in your life. Good, bad, sad, it doesn't matter. It's all the same. You never stop calling on the Lord. Never. For every situation in your life. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Hey, people, I'm just going to talk acapella today. You have to be careful out here. One of the most dangerous tools the enemy has been using right now to get to our kids, to get to us, is technology. A lot of us are 80s babies, right? I'm going to ask y'all a question. But I'm just saying, like, people who grew up in the 80s, 70s, before time, you know, us kids used to play, um games growing up. We used to play dress up, simple things, you know, mom and daddy, act like Superman, act like Batman, even sometimes act like a dog. But you know, I'm thinking back, man, I don't remember nobody growing up just thought in their mind, I want to identify as a cat. You might have act like a dog, but you know, after so long, your parents will step in like, stop acting like this. Or this and that you know it's got to be some kind of change it's got to be something in technology that's making kids go wild but i noticed something and in, in the last few years or so probably the last 12 years or so that what we are relied to teach our kids now is television youtube now not necessarily to teach our kids but guess what we do when we get tired of our kids getting on our nerves now. We put them in front of the television or we give them a cell phone to watch YouTube and we don't, Lord knows what they're watching because we figure we're getting a break then. This is very dangerous. It is, people. I am, I'm victim of it. I've done it before just to shut them up. You take it away from them as a punishment. You know what I'm saying? And back in the day, you know, our kids, our parents used to let us watch TV. They did. But they had something that was so natural that they used to make us do. It was called outside. And the thing is, we didn't have constant cartoons and TV shows to keep our mind occupied. You know, the kids had Saturday morning cartoons. And if you got home early enough after school, you could run and watch your last few favorite cartoons before regular TV hit. And then you're going right back outside. But this day and age, it's everywhere. It's endless. You got to understand, everybody that's posting, making videos for cartoons for kids and stuff like that, they don't have your kids' best interests. It can be easily brainwashing them. You know, watching videos, telling them to act like this, to behave like this. I was talking to my boss the other day. And he said his little niece was watching this show. And she was watching this show and there was a car pulling in. They had a, a truck, a bus, and it was ran by gasoline. And it was like, you smell that? They was like, we need to get transfer this truck into all electric. And then while he was watching the video with it, the next they transferred the truck to an electric truck. Look how, look how simple that is. I'm telling you people, we've been running gas cars for, for years. I'm just saying being for real. And electric cars ain't that much better. They destroy life too. But I'm just saying how easy it is for them to push an agenda on your kids without you even paying attention to it. AI, artificial intelligence, this and that. I watched a video when a person was talking to an artificial intelligence and he said he was a fallen angel. He was a Nephilim. I'm like, what? Boy, it's, man, y'all better be careful out here with this technology. You see, a child's mind is weaker than an adult's mind. But I'm starting to see some of these adult minds are weak too. But you got to think about it. 
all this didn't start happening till around probably by 2006 when this agenda started pushing real hard pushing harder and harder making your feel kids feel like they can do what they want and live how they want if you watch cartoons real closely they've been had transgenders in them they've been had it it's been around forever you know just think go back to disney how it was always hypersexualized it still is you know, you got to be careful what you let your kids watch. You need to explain things to them. You know, watch some of the shows with them. Watch some of the television shows that you just lay down with them, let them play on the phone, and you watch what they watch into. Us as parents need to start stepping up. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Like most people from the 80s, you know, I'm just being real, man. Like, I didn't see that much homosexuality in the 80s when I was growing up in schools. I didn't see it that much. I saw some women that dressed tongue boys, but they still like boys. Saw a few dudes, probably a few, that were gay or homosexual. You understand? But it wasn't like it is now. You mean to tell me, all of a sudden, all these people in this world just woke up like you know what this is what i am don't y'all find that kind of strange you know they say the devil is the prince of the amp now remember what television is the airwaves everything controlled through the airwaves the biggest idol is that television you know what i'm saying Y'all need to be careful out there, people. That's what that's, I just want to tell y'all. A lot of this stuff that's being pushed is pushed right under your noses. And you're thinking, well, maybe my kid is just born like that. No, they're being taught that. They're being taught right before your eyes what's acceptable. Might not be acceptable to God, but they taught this is acceptable. This is the normal. This is the standard. It's all in the TV shows. You understand? I'm glad I taught my kids early about certain things. And I don't sugarcoat nothing with them. I read them the story of creation from the Bible, how God created male and female, and I tell them the Ten Commandments, I tell them the basics. You understand? And whenever I get an opportunity, I tell them even more. So, don't you find it strange that superpowers like Elon Musk and other technology technological giants are trying to put a freeze on artificial intelligence you have to pay attention they know something they're trying to slow it down a little bit too late it's too late man ai is running things artificial intelligence is running things right before your lives but the thing is it might not even be artificial intelligence it might be demonic intelligence it might be fallen intelligence that's, they're putting, getting people to program into your television and into your TV shows and this and that. You can't watch anything now without some kind of agenda being pushed. You know, the Christian faith has been put as a mockery. You know what I'm saying? Every movie that's coming out got something to do with other deities and other gods. Nothing about Christ, nothing about the Bible, the ways of the Bible. If y'all if y'all watched uh, Eternals, they push the agenda in there. They push it in everything. Buzz Lightyear, this and that, all types of things, people. And we're letting our kids watch this stuff, and they're being brainwashed. You know, you got to really start governing that TV. But the thing is, people, I'm not telling you to take the television from your kids. I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you to govern it or break it down. Even if they're pushing your, their, they may be pushing their agenda and you catch it, push yours. If you call yourself a Christian, be like, that ain't right. I know there's a TV and I know they're trying to make it look like it's all acceptable and stuff. You might want to tell them this is wrong. Just like telling the action for a child, child that's playing Call of Duty 24 hours a day that you can't just run around and shoot people. This is a video game. There are consequences behind you. Thou should not kill. This is a game. <laughs> You have to explain things to people. 
Look at the world now. You can't tell you. I, I, people be showing me videos of people having straight up gunfights in broad daylight. People dying, laying on the ground, just like video games. I guess people think they got extra lives. I'm just being real. That's like somebody playing a boxing game, then going into real life thinking they're a boxer. Or watching a movie and thinking they can do those things that in the movie is. It's all part of an agenda. That's why you got to be careful right now. I'm not even truly talking about the Bible right now, but I'm talking about paying attention. You understand? Look at the world we live in. You got kids going to school dressed as cats, identifying as cats. And the thing is, for them to lead a house like that, their parent has to be something wrong with them. To let them identify themselves as a cat when they are a human being. Now, when that when that school teacher put a, a litter box on the ground and make your kid go in a litter box and not the toilet, now you got something to say. I'm just being real with y'all people. Now you're going to have something to say about it. They are a human being. No, they are a cat. Cats don't lose toilets. Cats don't eat with their hands. Start, when they say they start making your kid eat out of a doggy bowl and stuff like that, y'all better really pay attention to what's going on right before your eyes. It's a thing called make-believe. We all have played make-believe. But in the 80s, I'm just thinking about it. We knew the difference. We knew this was fake and we knew this was real life. One thing about it, I grew up in the hood where people would get shot and be bleeding and I'd be like, guns are bad. You understand? Not necessarily people who use them. If you use them correctly, somebody could die. You know, but everybody, even in the music, they broadcast like they got choppers and this and that. Then you see them dead and everybody like, why is he dead? He shouldn't have, he was a, such a good person. But then to taught your kids how to shoot people and encourage your kids to shoot people. You can listen to some of Tupac's and Notorious B.I.G.'s music. Notorious B.I.G. got a song where he's talking about actually having a bowel movement on a woman. And these are the people y'all let y'all kids idolize and worship. People with the most horrible standards known to man. You might want to start teaching your kids the Bible. To you know, give your kids God standards. So when they watch some of those things, they be like, something's wrong here. They having their, you got to teach them discernment early right now. In this world we live in, they need to get some discernment too. You need to start teaching them right from wrong to what they watch. This is make believe. This is Harry Potter. They doing witchcraft. Something God does not allow. They just make believe now. Don't be always, don't you need for the brain no books in here and none of this stuff. I know it's going to be hard to take these things away from the kids, but you better pay, pay attention and just be very careful. Sometimes you can lead your kids to inadvertent idol worship. You see, you see, they took a liking to Peter Pan. Now you have them dressed like Peter Pan. Now you're having them toys galore like Peter Pan. And now they worshiping an idol. You got to break that stuff down. I'm not going to give you all these toys of the same thing so you can be like them. You got to really pay attention to what's going on in this world today. They are using television to push their agenda. It's time for you to push the lowest agenda. So when they do come across things that are evil in the sight of the Lord, they'll know. Like, this ain't right. You know, my daughter and my son it was a movie we watched not too long ago and my daughter was like they pushing the agenda and i was watching the movie i was like they sure is and i was proud of her for noticing that you understand and y'all need to tell your kids that i'm not saying my kids are better than nobody else's but i'm just glad she know something's up here some of your kids don't know nothing's up because you're not telling them what's up you're letting the world teach them you're letting the world Tell them how to act, how to behave. And you're standing back because letting them watch that TV and play on YouTube all day gives you a break so you can do what you want to do. Break away from that stuff, man. It's getting dangerous out here, people. You know, you're going to have your kids in there 
killing you in your sleep because of something they done watched on TV. I watched a, a, a show not too long ago called about the, the digital, called the dark net, dark web. And it was a family. And this, this daughter of theirs was watching this influencer. And he was telling them how to branch away from their family. Like, you don't need them. They hate you. They don't have your best interest in heart. And she started doing it. And she started following after this influencer. And the parents didn't know what was going on. Then they started finally researching the TV and seeing who she was following. And they noticed she was doing what this man was telling her to do. It don't have to get that point with y'all. It don't have to get that far with y'all. You got to nip that in the bud now. You got to really pay attention to what's going on in your kids' lives. In your kids' telephones. On your kids' televisions. You need to pay attention to these things. The agenda is being pushed. And if you don't catch it now, it's going to be too late. He said, train a child in the way it should go, then it will never depart. If you're never training them in the ways of the Lord, you're setting them back. God's going to hold you accountable. And then when your kids reach a certain age, they're going to be accountable. But if you train them up in the ways of the Lord and you teach them the right way, guess what? It's going to hit them. It's going to do what it do. The word, he said, my word will not return void, but you got to give them the word. You got to give them the standards. Because in this world, everybody else is giving them theirs. If you call yourself a Christian, you might want to start giving your kids God's standard. That's all I got for you. Be careful. Have a blessing.